Now you're still watching Ways. Today is 8 Track Tape Day. This is a day to bring back fond memories of the 60s and 70s. During this era, 8 Track Tapes ruled the music world. The love of the automobile was a driving force in creating the demand for musical cassette formats. Now, if you still have those tapes and players, by all means, enjoy this day listening to great music. If not, just spend a few minutes looking back in time to when you loved your 8 track tapes. Children will look at this and <laughs> ask them, what, what is this? <laughs> I mean, it's like uh, looking at a dinosaur, you know? It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you took the words out of my mouth. Like, our children will be looking at us like, what? <laughs> Well, we have MP3 players, I'm we have this, you, we have that, we have the U. Why should I stress myself and play <laughs> Just this? Just download. I, I mean, that, that's what we call antique. <laughs> ah, that's real antique. Like Very people, antiquated. Yeah, people, yes. people, some generation can never understand this. Absolutely. And it's so interesting how... Especially those who are ah. the threes and the ones, oh, oh my in God. fact. <laughs> Everything they want, they just download on their mommy's iPad. Or exactly. That is, that is phone. That actually just brought um, to my mind the concept of uh, the song of um, ABBA. You know, the first time I actually listened to it was something like, like said, that. Can you imagine that? <laughs> And to think my daddy had all those turntables and all of that. Beautiful things. <laughs> <laughs> and the gramophones as well. Oh my gosh. Beautiful things. Fun Musical times. piece. Yeah. Fun times. Yeah. So, Isi, Absolutely. what did you find for us in the news today? Okay. Um, what I found in the news was uh, the hospitals have adjusted their operations to soothe the non-COVID um, patients, COVID-19 patients. This is as a result of the fact that um, they're taking on emergency cases more and... Um, um, emergency cases more and they are also handling people who uh, are not um, they have surgeries also to you know to um, to perform on them so currently I think this is gearing towards the right direction because um, they are separating those who are COVID infected and those who are not COVID well, infected. Well the hospitals are authorized the the to do that um, I, or is it in, I mean, is the government aware that they, or is, is there a government instruction? No, no, no. I think they're also, I think they're actually taking their liberty to actually do this or the discretion to do that because it is the right thing to do. Because, well, you basically. really cannot, I mean, we're, it's a large country. You really yes, cannot tell say, that this case but is COVID-19 until, yes, so let but us most just prepare. Facilities, yes, most facilities, health facilities are actually doing this. Even in Lasso currently, I know that, um, what's it called, the, some of the um, doctors were not even available to actually um, handle the patients because they were also handling cases of, um, so yeah, it's... Um, all on emergency Yes, call. all on emergency calls. Wow. So I that's think that's a fantastic one for uh, yeah. the government as well. And um, the, most of the outpatients as well have been taken, the outpatients have been taken out and uh, treated from home. Hmm. So they come in, give, give them drugs, um, so give them doctor's appointments, the hospital. hospitals. <laughs> so I think that's, an, uh, uh, that's a, a positive aspect of the whole awesome. uh, COVID-19. That's fantastic. Nineteen. I think that's actually been proactive because you really precisely. cannot tell. Yeah. Precisely. All right, so mine would just come quick as a, um, a young man, a 17-year-old boy. Mm. He created an app and I thought, you know, it, was, it would be nice to mention it. And for those that want to check on the current numbers, this boy is just 17. Wow. And he created an app. A Nigerian? Yeah. No, he's an American. Wow. <laughs> oh, he's a Briton, I don't know. But okay. the name of the, the app is ncovid 2019.live. So mm. I'm just going to reel out the current facts as of now as I'm checking. Wow, I'm checking that's live. bravo. That's and a good one. 1. 1.7 million plus cases, 108,000 wow. plus um, deaths, a total of 42,000 plus people that are in critical conditions, then mm. uh, 406 thousand recoveries this is the global wow. in a nutshell so these are wow. quick facts so for people that have been i mean they are panicking and mm -hmm. if you go into that website you would see regions so there's mm. the european region there's the african region there's mm. you know asia so every number every figure that you want to see is there and it's a live report is feeding life is a 17 year old boy is this boy related to albert <laughs> einstein <laughs> it's not. you know i wish um i wish i told my producer earlier they would have put his his picture, picture there up. because guess what That's he was offered one. eight million dollars for the app no for to for a company to put ad on this 
his site. He said, wow. no, that he doesn't want the money. The goal for the site is to get... To create awareness. Because people are panicking. So once you see that number, and when you look at it, in all honesty, mm. recoveries are usually... I mean, the, the percentage for recovery is quite high. So I keep saying to this, and I'll keep repeating, COVID-19 is not unto death. Exactly. It is just for you to understand that, okay, come out early so that mm -hmm. you can be treated. All right, so we would have Dr. Samuel Bayo Oga. Um, he's a consultant cardiologist of internal medicine. He's a cardiology and emergency um, doctor at the uh, hospital, Luther Hospital in Bochum, Germany. He will join us um, right after the break to discuss how they are coping with the COVID-19 in Germany. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.